and welcome back to another certified Ochi M5 collector video. <laughs> These are my two M5, as you have already probably seen in the last couple of videos. They have given me quite a headache over the last couple of days and also Mani and Gabriel. They have been working on them for like one week straight to prepare my M5 for a big road trip that we have planned through America. This road trip was supposed to start today and yeah, if you've seen the last video, you saw that this one blew up catastrophically. So this M5 is no longer working. It's very unfortunate and I'm actually very sad about it. But we have some good news. It wouldn't be a certified champion video without me having a plan B. And this plan B, oh I nearly showed you. This plan B is here today because, well, this is the ghetto M5. This one is not working. You might've thought that. You might've thought that I'm taking this one. But we have a way better plan. We have to walk all the way over there to show you something. Pretty fancy and pretty cool, which I'm very excited about. Sean was nice enough to actually give us his X5 for the road trip. But this was not cutting it, you know? In my mind, I always wanted to go to Monterey with, a, with an M5, which is a cool sporty car, you know, where you can have fun, have a nice trip with your friends. So, what we did... That was Ashley is driving us to Monterey now. So, uh, I may or may not have bought another car, which I did not really plan on buying right now, right here. But yeah, it just happened. You know, we, we, we were in need for a car. I have two more cars coming, so it's a bit much right now, but it is what it is. And yeah, this is it. This is my E39 M5. So, in fact, we're actually making it to Monterey with an M5, which is amazing. It used to be Sean's from European Road and Racing. And last time we were here, we were already admiring the car. And I've always wanted to have an E39. So, basically, it was just, you know, it, I think it was supposed to be like this. We were supposed to buy this car from the very start. And now it's finally the day. I just bought it today in the morning. We got it insured and registered, and we're ready for 5,000 kilometer road trip all the way across America to Monterey Car Week, which is in California. We are now on the East Coast. We have to go all the way to the West Coast, which is gonna be amazing, I guess. Really quick about the car. It's white, obviously, manual transmission. Every E39 M5 has a manual, manual transmission. It is actually in pretty good shape. It's mechanically perfect, Sean said to us. It's lowered on KW V2 suspension. It has original TE37s, which are very cool. And under the hood, we have a lovely five liter V8. And it has cold air intakes. It's got a custom exhaust with like Borla exhaust tips. And I think it's Dynan exhaust, whatever. Making around 420 horsepower, which is more than enough to get us to where we need to go. I honestly think that's one of the prettiest cars BMW has ever built. And it's supposedly the best M car ever built, everybody says. So we're gonna test it out over the course of the next few days. But first of all, we have to say goodbye to the team of European Road Racing, pack our things, and then we're ready for the road trip. Just driving the car inside really quick so Sean can see it one last time. I think it's, he's actually gonna see it more often because I'm gonna store it here with him. But still. <sighs> what are you saying? You're missing it already? Oh yeah. Right. Of course. Honestly, I'm gonna take good care of it. You know me. I know, that's why I'm afraid. <laughs> No, you're gonna see it very soon again, I think. Yeah, I really, really hope we're gonna have a good time with this car, but I have a feeling it's gonna be amazing. Like I said, I've always wanted to own an M5 E39, and this is a very good time to do so. Bro, this car is one of the few cars, in my opinion, that actually looks better from behind than from the front. And I'll have to say, in white, with these lights, the car kind of looks like a chaser from the back. I mean, look at this. It's such a good looking and timeless car. Anyway, let's go. So now you know the car, but what is the mission? This can be answered pretty, pretty simple. We are currently on the east coast of America in Charleston, South Carolina, and we have to travel all the way over to California. This is around 4,500 kilometers, and we're gonna do this road trip in the E39 M5 with three people and lots of luggage inside. I really hope this car will survive this trip because it's not gonna be easy. On the way there, we're gonna stop by some very interesting places to fully test out the car, and I hope we can also see some very fancy things because we're gonna pass along the Route 66, for example. The deadline is pretty strict because we only have around three days to arrive in Monterey, California, in time for car Week, which is on the weekend yeah so let's start our journey honestly i don't even know how many miles it is but it is quite a lot we have a huge road trip ahead of us but one that i've always wanted to do never actually got to drive this car so this is the first time driving it brakes feel a bit weird but everything else <laughs> feels very normal so far car sounds fantastic It feels fast, honestly. Yeah. Has a bit more, a bit 
less horsepower than the E60 M5, but it feels faster for some reason. Yeah, we are out of Charleston now, on our way to um, Tennessee. I think we are still in South Carolina. We have quite the way ahead of us, eight hours of driving today. Then the next, I think it's probably gonna take like four or five days to get all the way to California if we do like little stops in between. I am very excited for this trip. Like I said, I always wanted to do like a cross country trip in the US. Um, this is hopefully not gonna be a last US trip, but we'll see. Quick little backstory with the E60 M5. Um, Sean is in contact with the company who rebuilt my engine. I hope that they're gonna obviously change out the engine. The engine is supposed to have a one year warranty. And as you probably can tell, it has not been one year since we installed the engine. Matter of fact, it has been 20 miles. So we've driven 20 miles with the engine until it blew up. So I really do hope that they exchange the engine and I don't have to pay anything. They're just, they're just gonna put the engine inside and make the car run great. That's the plan right now, hopefully. Hopefully it goes like this. So what we did yesterday, we went back to the hotel and we brainstormed what could we do to do this to make this road trip happen? What what's what's the best way to, to do this all, you know? Because like I said, we came here to the US with the main purpose to do the road trip and we prepared this car for a very long time only to do it and then ultimately we failed because there is no way that the A60 M5 would have made this trip. Because you have to keep in mind there's car week happening this weekend and we have to make it in time for car week because I want to see it. It's a very famous event and supposedly one of the coolest car events in the universe. So we kind of have to see that. Also, all of our friends are going to be up there, you know, Keller, Alex, Austin, everybody else. So it's going to be a great time. So we went to the hotel yesterday. We brainstormed some ideas. We had some pretty, pretty cool ideas, but ultimately this was the right decision in my mind. Because, like I already said, I always wanted to have an E39 M5, and the, you know, Sean has the perfect one, so why not just buy Sean's? He's been trying to sell it for the past six months. He turned down many, many buyers, he told me, because he wants the car to go to the right person, and this right person is supposedly me. Uh, I'm gonna take good care of it, honestly. Sean is a good driver, so he's been driving it the same as I would. So, I think this car has been through some stuff already and this should make the car strong enough to handle me as well. The car itself feels amazing so far. I really, really like it. It's very comfortable to drive. Um, I think it's gonna be fun with Gable in the back as well. We're gonna have a good time. It sounds really fantastic. We're gonna obviously do some sound checks later. Right now I just wanna drive as fast as far as possible because we are already 12 hours behind with all the stuff that happened yesterday. I'm actually very, very happy about this car. I hope that you guys appreciate it as much as me. The story behind this car is also very fascinating. Um, Carl bought it from an old lady who was the first owner here in South Carolina and ever since they've had it in the family. So Carl bought it, I think 10 years ago and then Sean bought it from Carl a few years ago and now I bought it from Sean. Sean took this car to his wedding, so it's a very, very special car to him. And also, they had to, their first date with Ashley in this car. So Ashley just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So Ashley just texted me to take, to take good care of the car because it's their first date car. Which I, like I said, I'm gonna try my best, honestly. I feel, honestly, like this is the most beautiful E39 I've ever seen in my entire life. I really, really like the engine. It's got low torque, which is gonna be amazing for sliding the car around. Um, I feel like this is the perfect, perfect Griff car. And if you type in E39 M5 anywhere on the internet, everybody who's driven one says this is the perfect M car. And I really, really want to test this out on this road trip. But so far, I am very positive about this car. I'm very happy to have it, honestly. many pit stops at the gas station. Oh, so far I have to say I really, really love this car. It drives amazing and I think it looks so, so good. I'm actually so happy that things turned out this way now. Uh, obviously it sucks, you know, with the E60 being broken or whatever, but bro, it's beautiful E39 now, which is mine, which is crazy. And what sucks? Yeah, for the girl. Also, I'm doing a mega girl. And 
hinten offen ist einfach so, so geil, weil das ist ganz interessant. Schaut geil aus. Ja, also ich finde es extrem geil. Um, I don't really know about this car's fuel consumption, but I have a feeling that we're gonna probably have to fill up the car, I would say like 20 times until we arrive in California. Oh, look at this, man. I just love old BMWs, and you can't tell me that this car is not one of the most beautiful cars. They just don't build them like they used to anymore, really. Which is quite sad, but still, you know, better for us people who like old cars. 36, $63.60. Cents. That's how much it costs to fill up your car here in America. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. So, we've made it to Tennessee, we made it over the Smoky Mountains, and we are now at our first destination, which is uh, probably paradise on earth for many, many people. I was here with Marnie a few months ago, and we said we definitely have to come back. So, this is it. And uh, now, don't get me wrong, it might look like a normal gas station on the first glance, but if you look closer, this is actually the world's biggest gas station. Um, they have 120 pumps here. We are at Bucky's in uh, <laughs> Seaville, Nashville. It used to be the world's biggest gas station until they opened one in Texas, which is like 10 pumps larger than this one. Back when Money B came here, it was actually the biggest one. Let me just park my car here and fill up, and then we're gonna show you because it is crazy. This is, it is honestly unbelievable. There's so many pumps behind me as well. Welcome to Bucky's in Tennessee. So, as you can see, it goes down all the way back there. And if you turn around, it goes down all the way back there. 120 pumps. Oh, they be the glücklichste Mensch der Welt. Ich liebst du. It is insane. And wait until you see the inside of the store because it's even cooler. You can buy literally everything here in the store. You can buy food, obviously. They prepare your meat very specially in front of you. They have their own cooks in there. They prepare sweets freshly made for you. It is truly paradise on earth. And I always wanted to come here with my own car. And now today is finally the day. We brought the E39 M5 to <laughs> Bucky's. Yeah, the European mind probably cannot comprehend this, but let me tell you, you can even buy like hunting stuff in there. You can buy underwear, you can buy t-shirts. We're gonna go inside and show you in a minute. Money's favorite place on earth. Yeah. I have to say really quickly, these windows are so shit to drive in the dark. We saw it already that you always drive with the high beams. Yeah, you, beams. Can't, you can't see anything. I mean, it looks cool from the outside, but from the inside, it's just horrible. Hey, was sagst du? Du warst noch nicht da. Shopping City. <laughs> Shopping City. Shopping City for autos. Mm -hmm. 350 meter weiter. Von der Tankstelle. Cool, yeah? This here. Yeah. 350 yeah, meter weiter. By the way. Perfectly fits. Three suitcases. Mine is all the way back here. Yeah. And backpacks. Mine is some thick. Yeah. Perfect car for a road trip, honestly. I hope that it's not ready now in the night. So what do we do first? Klamotten einkaufen. Gebrannte Mandeln. Es wird dann live das Essen zu bereiten. Und dann sehen wir, wenn es fertig ist. Ja, genau. Das ist American Fleischgas. Ohne Scheiß. American Fleischgas. Dann nehmen wir jetzt fünf mit. Merch einmal und dann holen wir das Essen zum Schluss. Ohne Scheiß, ich bin gerade so glücklich. Das da hinten, das Zeug ist so big serious. Das haben wir das letzte Mal gekauft. Beef Jerky in, in tausend Variationen. Zocken. Ja, die waren richtig. Warum sind die nicht gebraucht? We're literally running out of clothes, so we need, we need some clothes. Die Unterhosen sind da, schau. Oh yeah, da. Kaufst du wieder eine? Sicher, zwei. Warte, wer bin ich? Die ist aber geil, die Kappen, Alter. Guys, we're rebuilding a Lamborghini today. Was ist geiler? Duffer oder Sticker? Sticker für den 31. Für den 31, da wo normalerweise Kathedrale-Pickler ist. 
Nein, eh, dazu. Boah, das ist gestört, Alter. Ich würde mir gerne ein Hemd kaufen, aber da gibt es irgendwie... Suppen. Ich bin mir sicher, das Hemd steht da sogar. Ja. Ich bin sicher, dass man das steht. Tatsächlich glaube ich es auch. Ja, das sind so typische s 13 fahrer Grundsachen. So, military, uh, some hunting stuff over there. Man in the mirror. Justin. Man. Warum steht da jeder scheiß Wort? <lacht> so, this is world's famous American flash cars. Mm. Und? Ja, okay. geil. Mhm. Hey, aber der Preis ist immer wie krass. 8 Dollar. Mhm. Das ist überhaupt das meiste Foto, was ich jetzt gemacht habe mit 8 Dollar Amerika, wenn auf der Tankstelle. Mhm. Unfertig. Und? Schon geil. Schon cool. Das, das, ist, das ist richtig cool. Das ist richtig cool. Das ist krass. Das ist richtig, richtig cool. Hey, haben wir es geschafft? Fuck is. I generally understand though why American people are pretty much overweight because I don't think I've ever had such a meal at a gas station in my entire life before. Yeah, we have three hours left to go to Nashville, Tennessee where we're gonna stay for tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow we're gonna do some fun activities in Nashville and then continue our road trip, I guess. I'm gonna probably sleep now while driving, so not while driving, while <laughs> going there, so see you in Nashville. Okay, so we are ready. I just picked up Mani and Gabriel from the rental car return, so we finally got rid of the rental car, which means we are all three together in the M5 E39. Uh, we can properly start the road trip now. We drove pretty long yesterday. We came here at like 2 a.m. in the morning, I yeah, think. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Went straight to sleep, washed some of our clothes, and then today we woke up, dropped off the rental car, and now we're going back to Nashville to explore the city a little bit, because in my opinion, this is probably one of the best cities here in America, because it's not as big, but still, you can do so many things. And money me, we came here a few months ago and we said we definitely have to come back to film some stuff. So we're going back to Nashville. We're gonna have something to eat there and just walk around a little bit. Then afterwards, we're gonna head back on and start a road trip properly, like I said. We're going to drive to Memphis. Memphis is gonna be a next stop. We have something very special planned there. And then we're gonna see how far we come today, honestly. We have around, I think, like 3,000 kilometers left to drive, which is something like that, yeah. Maybe probably even more, like 3,000. Uh, it's one day and eight hours. One day and eight hours of pure yeah, driving. Pure driving, drive yeah. All the way through. But I don't know if, if the time zones are also included. Yeah, that's, I think so. I yeah, think. yeah. Because it has more displacement, so it sounds a bit more rowdy, in my opinion, yeah. a bit more aggressive. Yeah. yeah, a bit more aggressive. Anyway, let's get to Nashville. I'm gonna show you the city, it's pretty beautiful. So, we are now in Broadway here in Nashville. Nashville has around 600,000 inhabitants, so it's not a big city, but still pretty, pretty cool. You can see many buildings. It kind of looks like LA a little bit, but it's not as warm as in LA, and you don't have so many homeless people, which is obviously a good thing, I guess. We are gonna look for a spot to park the car really quick. It's not so bad, no. Hey! I like it! <laughs> oh, it's so cool here. This is a proper American city still. You don't really have any trash laying around. It's beautiful, it's clean. It's how it's supposed to be, you know? This is, in my opinion, way cooler. Oh, look. This is Broadway. If you go here in the night, it's full of people. It's honestly very cool. There's many bars, there's many like country bars as well, which is... I like country, so it's kind of cool. This is probably the best area if you want to party in America. At least that's what everybody tells us. We haven't really gotten to experience it, sadly. Uh, we wanted to go, but everybody we know here from Nashville is already at car week. So we don't really have anybody we can go with. Let's park the car, walk around a little bit. It truly is a cool place. We have the Bridgestone building over here. Just an arena, I think. And you can already hear some country music. I like this place here. It's, it's Tuesday morning and people are already drunk and driving to the city on a bar bike. This place is heaven on earth. 
I don't know what's better, Bucky's or Nashville, Tennessee. Bucky's to eat, drinking Nashville. Oh, look at this, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Wow, the Mustang is ultra geil. Oh, this place is so cool. This is like a country version of Munich. <laughs> it's very clean. Thank you very much. What? Yeah, I've got a good shoes. Yeah. It's a typical thing. Thank you so much. Warum? Warum tut uns jeder Komplimente geben? Der sagt, du hast ein geiles Shirt an, aber da muss ich recht geben. Me too, man. Me too. Ja, da gibt es einfach eigene Taschen für die Stiefel. Ich wette, dass der Hut wieder steht, oder? Ja, der ist ein bisschen zu klar. Die sind auch so klar. Alter, er ja, ist der geborene Hutträger. Möchtest du zusetzen, Alter? Der Tisch hat dazu passen, Schäger. Ich weiß nicht, es ist einfach so random. Wir sind hier am Tuesday Morning und es sind bereits Leute, die in den Straßen trinken. Partying, there's country music everywhere, all the bars are open. Normally, if you go to a European town on a Tuesday morning, you... oh, yeah, yeah, this uh, nice outfit, man. Normally, if you go to a European city on a Tuesday morning, you all know how it is. It's not very, it's not even quite like this. Yeah, that's how we This is honestly a very, very cool city. I'm happy that we're here. We have to come back here for sure to spend a few more days here. But we have one more thing planned after this road trip here in the US, so maybe we can kind of combine this a little bit. Well, now imagine how crazy it is here in the night. It's like this, but times 1000. It's honestly, you have to come here and experience it for yourself to properly understand what I'm trying to say. What's going on now? The gaps are Johnny. Love, Gabriel. Schauen wir weiter. Yes, sir. As much as I would love to stay in Nashville a little bit longer, we have a mission to fulfill. So, we're gonna go to the next location, which I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Just have to keep driving, I guess. Hey, ladies! <laughs> Sorry? That's one of the baddest on the road. Thank you very much, Andy. E39. E39? Yeah, and I, that's what that is. And I never yeah. had an M5, but that one is. Is that an O3? It's a 2000. Still bad. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. What? That's the win. Das muss ich in den Mund rein laden. <lacht> Da haben wir Bassboxen. Ja, die war perfekt. Ja, die ist nicht. Ja, den nehmen wir mit, oder? Ja, das ist 
Schrauben. Mit zwei ja. Tags. Da und da. Ist der Auto? Was du da? Nee, wir machen es geil, er das machen lassen. Er ist also wieder jetzt so. einmal sein Autotuner. So. Zwei Dinger und drei von denen. Mhm. Also zwölf Volt werden wir mal brauchen. Und weil Volt immer so eine geile Farbe ist, gibt es zwölf Volt da in. Ja, probier. Und der zweite Stecker kommt dann auf GND. Geiler, netter Dick. Dr Drum and Bass. Geiler, netter Drum. Und REM steht für Rette E39 Musik. Also REM müsste dann nicht der Bass. Oder die Band ist das. Also ist REM. Warum? Weil Rette E39 Musik. Was braucht man für einen Stromarbeit? Weil zwei Sachen braucht man Plus und? Minus. Ja, und was ist? Minus. Und was ist Minus? Auf was für ein Bauteil tut man das drauf? Auf unseren Bass jetzt. <lacht> Auf, ja, und? Was, was tut man? Wo ist, die, wo ist die Masse drauf? Auf REM. Ja? Auf GND. Ground. Ground. Ja? GND ah, heißt Ground. Ah, jetzt. Super. Habe ich gewusst. Jetzt, ja, jetzt probieren wir ihn nochmal, oder? Oder reicht es, wenn ja. nur zwei, drei drin sind? Dann ist er ja nicht so laut. Hören wir was, Jungs? Ich wollte noch sehen, Donuts. Schön. Ja? Perfekt. Autosong, guys, seems to be pretty chill. We want to see some Donuts. We're happy to oblige. Also, we bought a car check and everything just in case. Gonna try driving it like this now a little bit. And if it gets worse, we're gonna raise the car up a little bit. So, I'm gonna pick up the Autosong guy because he was so helpful. Let's see if he likes some donuts. <laughs> we drove through Memphis and <laughs> first thing we thought of Memphis was <laughs> coming here to Graceland. So let's see what it's about. Hello. You guys here for the walk-up tour? Yeah. Yeah. All right, straight ahead, straight ahead. Thank you. Thank you. This is a Bude Green. Schau da hinten. Ah. Schönes Haus hat er gehabt, sag ich dir. Da, Bull. Bull ist ein bisschen klar. Ein bisschen Ausstand oder wie der Gabriel? Ja, ist mir okay. Wenn der Gabriel sein Bad passieren darf? Ja. Die Herren sind. This is sweet. We made it all the way to Oklahoma City, which means we're in the middle of nowhere. And we've been in the middle of nowhere since the last like four hours. There's literally nothing you can do here, I think. I, I don't know, I haven't seen the area yet. It's going to be very exciting tomorrow to see the landscape for the first time in proper sunlight. We did like 10 hours of driving today, which is pretty good. 1000 kilometers, around 650 miles. Tomorrow we have a very big stretch ahead of us, which is gonna be cool, but also tomorrow, 
we're officially entering the Route 66, which I am very excited about. Route 66, with the M5 E39, it's going to be amazing. Funny. I have. I think we must yeah, we raise the car. We definitely have to raise the car, right? But I really have to say, this car is amazing for this trip. I was sleeping so well in the back seat. Gabriel was sleeping in the front seat and it drives so comfortably. This is the perfect road trip car. Du hast aufgeschürft. Six is. Geil. Das müssen wir lassen. Geil. Das lassen wir. Warum lassen wir das? Weil das geil ist. Geil. Das macht mir am Schlafen schlafen, wenn die Beck Mund auf. Das funktioniert schon so. Dann haben wir vorne noch gleich runter, wenn wir schon dabei sind, oder? Dies wird die aber hin. I really have to say, I'm so happy we got this car because it has been amazing so far on this trip. Anyway, we're gonna go to sleep. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. See you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this first part of the trip. Next one is gonna be pretty cool. And we finally get to test the car properly once we make it a bit more to the west coast. So be prepared, I hope. Oh, yeah. Good night, good night. 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 Good night.